Yes, guys, hope you well. Guys, we got this fantastic video how to transform an image, um, PNG or JPEG image into an SVG file. Guys, it's so easy, it's fantastic, and it's really quick as well. So stay right to the end, guys, because you're going to give you some nuggets too. So check this one out, mine. But as usual, if you love digital products, you love creating, researching, listing, and all of that mad, mad Etsy stuff, then please hit the like, subscribe, smash that notification bell. And don't forget to share because, you know, we've got to share that knowledge. Anyways, check this out, my. I'm on Canva, actually. And I'm, show, I'm going to show you the steps on, on how to do this. Now, it doesn't have to be Canva. Um, you, can, you can choose any uh, background. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload. I'm going to tell you the steps. I'm going to upload that image. And you can choose any image you want. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the background first of the image because, obviously, I want the main part. Right, so I need to remove the background because if I don't remove the background with regards to the SVG, when I turn it into SVG, it's gonna look very, very, very busy, um, and it's not gonna look clean. So let me just explain what I mean, okay? And I'm gonna explain what I mean. Um, so I'm gonna go to upload because I'm gonna take an image, uh, any image that you want. Obviously, choose an image that you want. Um, I'm going to choose an image of, uh, da, 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 da. let me choose this one. I want to choose this image of a uh, Doberman, actually, Doberman dog. All right, there you go. I'm going to say use image. I'm going to say custom size because I want it to be exact same size. Great new design, right? Now, remember, you can actually find yourself, uh, like any website or any background removing website or, you know, as long as you're able to remove the background cleanly. Canvas, fantastic. It does a really, really cool job, really quick job. So hence why I use it. So let me click on the image itself. Let me click edit photo. And then once it comes up, I need to use the BG remover, which is a background remover, right? So I click on the background remover. Boom. And then hopefully it should automatically and in with magic right real quick they wow that is clean how clean that is guys that is absolutely fabulous look at that Yee, look at that look at that so clean right such a clean image that's amazing that is absolutely fabuloso look at that anyways right so that's my image okay remember a few steps so stay with me now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna download this as a png so png um download this okay right that's downloaded after the background's been removed actually what i might do is i want to actually share it as a i want to download it as a png but with a transparent background okay there you go boom that's better just to make sure right okay that's done that is done. Now, step two, once I remove the background, is I go to this website. It's called Free SVG Remover. All right. Uh, it's called Free SVG Converter. Sorry. It's uh, picksvg.com. Right. Real simple. And so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload a picture, which is the picture that I just removed the background for. And then, uh, which one is it? This one. And then open it up. Right. It's going to load and literally you can see on the right side, it instantly created it for me. Look at that, right? Now, just bear with me because there's a few more bits. Now, the good thing about this website is that it gives you also options. So I'm just going to show you very quickly some of these options. If you just look at the edge of the Doberman, you'll see that it makes the edge a little bit more thicker and a slightly more detailed when I go to edge three. Let me go to edge four. It gives it more of that darker look inside. Okay. And I'm going to show you a few bits with this. And then what you do is you can go to internal um, and then it, it darkens it internally, right? In this case, look at that. Okay. Which is quite nice. Now, one thing I will say is that you can see probably because it's quite light around the foot hence why it hasn't come through as as quite as well but if i go to um 
back to edge two, you can see that the, it, it reappears. So it, it comes back. So there are also options here which you can choose so that you can, you know, get the kind of SVG that you want. Okay. Um, I mean, this is transforming, obviously. Um, uh, this is transforming a photo style. And like you said, like you can see, you can do like a whole kind of um, thick black um, internal sort of uh, colored in almost, which is also quite good. So you do have options. An internal three is kind of, I guess it's more, more uh, two is kind of more cartoon-esque, I would say. Um, so yeah, that is literally how you do it. And then you download your SVG. Now, let's say you choose one of these. Now you can even still work on it. I'm going to show you something. Now I'm going to just take this one, the edge four one, right? And then I'm going to go to download, right? I've downloaded it. So it's now back into my, um, downloads. So I want to go back to Canva cause I want to show you a couple of bits, right? Go back to Canva. So let me just go here, upload design, use file. Um, and there it is. There's my SVG. Yeah. Let me just upload my SVG. Okay. So using the new design. Okay, then just, just bring it back in. Okay. Now, this is my SVG file. Now, there's a few bits if you wanted to do. Let me just show you. Um, just a few things to show you very quickly. Now, obviously, let's say you can keep it like that if you wanted to. Um, or obviously, if you wanted to make it any bigger, you can. Or if you wanted to color inside it, if you wanted to darken it, which which you could have, you, you know, that's if, if you really want to. You know, we saw that as an option anyway. But let's say you just want to kind of go, go through and color it in. But you can do, right? Just something else that you could do. I'll just color this in very quickly. Okay. Make sure the brush size is a little bit less down here. Okay, so let's say um, that's it after I've colored in. Let's say I just wanted it colored in. Um, then all you got to do is quite easy, guys. Just go back to your downloads. Now, obviously, you can increase the size if you want to. Uh, make sure that you go back to your SVG option. Click SVG. Uh, transparent background. Go to SVG, transparent background, and go to download. Okay, and that's how to do transform. Now, like I said, you didn't, you, you could have got the dark one, but I just wanted to cut it in so that I can get any any details that I'm, that was missing from the website that did it. But let me, okay, let me go to my downloads. This one's the one that was the SVG that I, the latest one that I created. Okay, and there's the SVG of the Doberman, right? Nice and clean. Very nice and clean, guys. Very nice and clean. Look at that. Really nice and clean. Even if I zoom in, look at that. Look at the line work. It's beautiful, right? That's it. And that's all you need to do. A. That's how you transform an image, which could be um, JPEG, or it could be a PNG, into a um, into an SVG really quickly. Okay.
Hope you liked the video. If you did like the video, please hit like, subscribe, smash that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one.